This is the second video on this introduction to MathCAD. So picking up where we left off, we had uh, done a plot and showed how you, you can just click in the different areas of, of um, a plot and put in the limits or double click and you have the ability to set a whole bunch of things, grid lines and titles and so on. So. Okay, so um, another thing I'll point out is, let's see, so uh, suppose we wanted to provide a range of the values of t's right here. So let me just delete that. So we could just put in uh, t and then semicolon gives you that equal sign in zero, comma, if you want, if you have a series you want to put in, you put the next uh, number, not the increment. So in the case of you starting at zero, of course, the next number is the same as the increment. But unlike uh, some programming loops where you specify the, you know, how you want to increment a variable, in this case, you put in the first value, the second value, and then the last value. So suppose we want to go from zero to ten by ones, and now I'm going to type the full colon button that puts in those two dots and then I put in um, the last value. So if we want to see what we have now, I can just type in t and the regular equal sign, and you can see uh, there's the values we get for, the, for that. And then, um, of course, now if, I put, if we put in f of t and then the regular equal sign, you get the values of f of t that correspond to these values of t. Um, uh, another thing I'll point out is we you have um, on the format you can select result. So depending on how you, how you want to display your results, you can um, notice here. There's an, uh, this is in general number of decimal places three. If uh, there's more than three places, then um, it goes to exponential form. So if I switch this to four, for instance, and then say OK, you can see that instead of uh, this this being um, uh, with it having an exponential form, it just now it, it doesn't reach that threshold, so it's just uh, outputted as 1,111. OK, we also can go to Tools, and we have Worksheet sheet Options. And uh, one thing that's particularly useful here is the unit system. So you can select whatever unit system you want. You could create a, your own custom unit system. Like if, um, if I wanted to have a custom system but based on the US system, then so all the defaults would, would be these values. But I can change, like for instance, if we want to change uh, the length from feet to um, something else like inches, Right, so now the length will be given in inches there. And we can also uh, put in other uh, derived units, such as what, it, what the units that we want to use for torque, for instance. Um, and actually, I think I'm going to go back. Let's just switch for now, just switch that to the SI system. OK, and then we also have preferences. And one of the things under preferences is warnings. So if you have um, a function or a variable a constant or a variable or a, that has already been defined, it will give you a warning with, by putting like a green squiggly line. So for instance, um, if, if I wanted to say over here that C was equal to 2, there's a green squiggly line there, okay? And that's because C has already been reserved as, well, let me, uh, I'll delete that, and I'll just use the regular equal sign, 2.998 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So you should recognize that as uh, the speed of light. So in other words, that constant has already been set. You can override it, but if you, if you wish, you can have it underscore uh, with the green squiggly to show you that this is you're actually redefining it. it's just a warning so I'll have to pick up here from the next video